Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video on a tutorial. So Paladin Strike has entered its alpha and if you don't know how to get it what you have to do is follow the link in the description, it should be the first one and it will take you up to a sign up page, all you have to do is enter your Google Play or iOS um, Apple email not your random email that you use for business or whatever whatever email you use to sign up for Google or iOS you use that one otherwise it won't work so once you've done that and once you've got an email saying you've got the alpha um, you can go ahead and download it on your Android or iOS device or you could do what I'm doing downloading it on my PC now this is very simple to do uh, all you have to do is download this Nox Player 5 it's completely free um, I don't even think there's anything you have to pay for obviously this is a android emulator so if you want to buy minecraft or whatever for android you can go for it but this nox player is completely free of charge uh, this link will be in the description or if you want to type it out because you have fast fingers you go for it so when this is downloaded you'll click it it will you know it will start the you know installing system then you'll get Something like this when it eventually loads up. Okay, so it's finally loaded up. This is what you'll get. You won't get these two games because I've actually installed them, obviously. But once you've got it, you can change your um, like settings here. You can go to advanced, uh, change your performance settings, uh, all sorts of uh, good stuff. Uh, oh, wow, it's broken. Okay. So you can do all sorts of stuff like this. I'm going to show you also how to set up Paladin so you can play it uh, with like your keyboard instead of you know some very complicated ways. So how you would get this for um, or how you would get it on the Nox Player, you would have to go to your emails uh, when they, when they finally load up. Go to, it should be in your promotion if you're on Gmail. Um, find the find the thing. Oh, I'm, I'm doing everything wrong. Right, it should be here. So you click there. Then it will take years to load up. Then it should say download it on Google Play. You press that. Then you can install. Then It'll ask for. It'll think it'll ask for your password. Then it'll ask you what device to download it on. I'm actually going to sign in real quick so I can show you. Okay, so it should come up with a list of uh, devices. Um, should it? Uh, it's just pick and choose. So whatever ones are available, click it, install, then go back to your Nox, and it should be here. Or if you go on Play Store, it will start downloading but um, if you do uninstall I think all you have to do is type it in should yeah it should come up so I think as soon as you get the game it should be here if not uh, I could suggest maybe going to here maybe beta I mean it's not in there because I'm a scrub but still okay so this isn't going to be the best FPS, uh, I'm just using a, the screen recorder on my uh, recording software, but if you go into Paladin Strike, it'll load up like normal. Um, you just have to wait for it. Okay, so you'll get you'll get to the screen, you probably have only day one, which you click. I'm on my fifth day so far of uh, daily logging in, so I'll claim that. Um, so if you go to your uh, mail, you should have, you should get at least 8k um, uh, gems or crystals, whatever you want to call them. So you, with all of that, you can buy every single skin in the in the game. So that's that's pretty cool. I wish we got that for the live version. Right. So I'm just gonna hop into a uh, practice mode, so I can show you how to set up the controls and everything. I'm just gonna set Andro because. It's my main, why not? So, and again, it's not going to be the best uh, FPS because I'm not recording it properly. Okay, yeah. So, 
So right off the bat, you have to click on it so it knows you controlling this. Then what you want to do is you press this little keyboard thing here. It should pop up, pop up with this. I'm actually going to delete these for the tutorial. Okay, so what you want, you want this. This is going to be your main gyroscope, would I say. Um, so, now you've got this. Uh, I kind of need that to go. There we are. So, what you want to do, you want to line it up to this. So, it, you get a better uh, play. So, you could you could go with that. Um, then you want to press escape. Then I'll say save your and you press yes. Then whenever you use your mouse it should automatically do it. Which is fine. That's that's pretty good. Uh if we go back in there again, because obviously you want your use your abilities. However, you can can use your mouse. You can use your mouse, uh if we walk around, you can use this. Now you don't need to aim this at all, you don't need to like drag it around to, sh to show where you're shooting. This is actually a really cool thing I like. Um, you can actually um, targeting, so you can set it to the nearest, so if an enemy player is right near you, it, it will focus on them, so it will auto-target them. Or if you want to be sneaky beaky like, you can choose lowest HP, which you know attacks the lowest HP so you can get the kill. Uh, also you've got... Um, Different stuff here. I'm not really sure what casting is, cancel abilities, but you get the picture. Um, so, what I like to do personally is I like to, instead of dragging it out this time, you just want to click the abilities. So, for example, click there. So, what I'll do for that, I might, I'll actually use the number pad because it's quite a nice feel. Um, you don't really want to use the mouse unless you, you know, like manually clicking them, but I prefer to use the keyboard. So I'm just going to put that at number one, but this is not uh, number four. Why not? Um, get it centered. Uh, number seven. And I'll set that to set to number eight. Oh no, that's, that's the main shoot. I'll, I'm actually going to put that to probably space bar. Yeah. That's the ultimate. I'll just put that as that. So there you go, press escape, save changes, and all that malarkey. Um, I'll also give you a bit of it an insight. Um, so when you when you play, you'll get these like upgrades. So normally in Paladins, uh, you would press I when you're uh, at your spawn, and you can select items. But with this, you, it sort of gives you two items that you can select and you can pick. So if I want 50% reload speed, get 50% reload speed. Hmm. Didn't want to work for a second there, so let's go over to enemy and see how it works. So now it's uh, attacking the lowest enemy. If I go over here, uh, it, oh yeah, it can see him. No, I'm shooting these out. Okay, so you get the basic idea of this. Let's uh, let's get out of here. I don't even know how to get out of it. Right, just exit lobby. So that's the basics. That's how to set up for computer. Obviously, their phones are and tablets are much different. Um, personally, I prefer to use it on my desktop because it's just easier. That means I don't have to charge my tablet twenty four seven. But uh, whilst I'm here, I'll just give you, I'll show you all the champs that are actually available. Um, so, so Fernando's. In this game, Jesus, that's messed up. Um, for each champion, you get three skins that you can buy. Uh, so we got a blue one for Nando, and we got this really nice Warhawk one. I prefer the Infernal, but the character model for, for, for Nando is really nice. Um, so yeah, let's go to should be Androxus. See, so, so some uh, champions have the same abilities as. In the live version of Paladin, so Androxus has the same abilities, um, but some champions, I think Cassie has a few different abilities, which ultimately help her. Um, so yeah, this is. I wish Androxus got like a better skin. This one's nice, but 
don't know. I think they had the potential to do something really good. And one thing I want to point out, the champion's weapons are massive. They are so big, his his revolver is bigger than his head, probably as long as his arm. Just pointing it out. And then we've got Pip. Now, people, some people really like this skin, because apparently that's what the old um, Pip looked like. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. And he just turns into a lamb. What more do you want? Um, who else we got? So now we've got Eevee. We've got her skins. Uh, so this is like half Troublemaker from in-game and half Harley Quinn. It's quite cool. Um, we got Victor. Now he he's more like... I don't, I don't know how to put it, but... His hair is so weird. And he's, he smokes a freaking cigar. But yeah, I really like this skin. This skin's really cool. It's sort of like Tyra's Direwolf skin, but pirate. Right, now we got Grok. Grok's probably awesome. He's just so much better than the normal Grok. Like his skins are amazing. Like he just he's just more powerful instead of trolley, if you know what I mean. Right, who else we got? We got BK. I haven't actually tried him. I've got him, but I haven't tried him. Uh, so he's got a really nice skin. This skin is just so nice. It looks like he's playing with himself there. Just you know, point it out. But yeah, this skin looks really nice. I really like this one. Um, we got Ying. This skin is really liked by everyone. It's, it's really nice. Then you got... I think that's the Ying Convention skin. Then we just got Default skin. Then we got Cassie, who is basically just a different character. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the weapon is huge. It's about the same... It's about probably as tall from her foot to about her midsection there. There. Then you got her normal skins from Ingo. Uh, then we got Barrack. Barrack's more badass than <laughs> the actual uh, Paladins. Oh yeah. I just really like this because his weapons actually changed. Uh, it looks really cool and the turret as well has changed. Which I really like. Um, then we got Makoa. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Makoa. Which is really cool. We got the Lava uh, Makoa. Now, if you don't know how to get the skin on the live version, all you have to do is get level 30 within the beta, then the skin's free of charge, which is fantastic. Uh, then we've got Buck. Buck's really cool. I don't know why they went with this skin. This skin is okay. It's not the best. But then we got Half Tyra, Half Buck. Now, this skin's just amazing. Like, half these skins, if half these skins were introduced to the actual game, like, Buck would be played more, Grok would be played more, if you know what I mean. Like, these skins are just so amazing. Then we got Sky, I'll skip over her, because one, she's apparently really overpowered, and two, this video may get taken down for nudity. I'll show her anyway. But, um, yeah. That's Sky for you, um... Then we're back to Nando. So they're all the champions at the moment. Obviously, more champions are going to be added. Uh, here are all the skins. I've got all of them apart from these ones because I don't actually have the champs. And also, you can get chests. Uh, you can get a thing called runes. I have no idea what runes are. Um, screw it. Why not? Let's just uh, get a chest. Uh, I have no idea what it is. Okay, so we can go here and open it. So I've got... Got a bunch of items, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it for Paladin Strike. Uh, I'm actually going to have a look at that off camera so I can you know, have a feel. It's already got a competitive mode, which is awesome. And you've got three game modes. You've got summons, which you basically capture. There's three objectives. You capture, well, you if you capture all three of them, or if, well, basically, as long as you capture two, and because it has like a percentage, so each point gives you one, and I f and obviously if you capture, m if you get more, then the percentage goes up higher. And when you get it to one hundred percent, like a monster uh, spawns, and it'll go take down their um, temple or whatever it's called. Uh, it's quite fun actually. It's probably my most played at the moment. Then you got siege, we capture and push, which is fun, I guess. You got deathmatch, which is probably 
probably going to be the most fun. Uh, then you've got competitive. You can, they have a Discord, so if you want to join Discord, you can go for it. If you've got daily quests, which you do, then you can get all different types of chests. I was kind of hoping once we actually uh, complete these, we'd get them in-game, but that's not a thing we can do. But yeah, if we get you can do all sorts of different quests. You even get a quest just for logging in. Daily login, all you have to do. So yeah, that's been it for uh, Puzzle and Strike. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this game. Personally, I, I really like this game. It's probably probably going to be one of my favourite games when I get more into it, just learning their new champs or the champs' abilities. But yeah, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please sta smash that like button down below. And if you want to see more content, subscribe to my channel so you know when my future content is uploaded. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in my next video, which is a new series. This will be coming out... Well, because I had to re-record this one, it will be coming out this Thursday. So stay tuned for that, and see you in my next video. Goodbye, guys.